President Trump spoke on Fox News last night talking in greater detail than ever before about the cognitive test he says he passed with flying colors. But what's it really like to take the test? Who better to find out than a man who's the same age as Trump? Stephen Fabian tells us how he did. The president can't seem to stop talking about that cognitive test he recently took. It's actually not that easy, but for me it was easy. He did it again last night on Fox News. They say, that's amazing. How did you do that? So this is the Montreal Cognitive Assessment Test, which is easily accessible on the internet. We believe this is the test that the president took. So we have our friend Sheldon Stone here. He's going to take the test for us. Sheldon, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Here we go. First question. Please draw a line going from a number to a letter in ascending order. Draw a clock, put in all the numbers, and set the time to 10 past 11. Tell me the name of this animal. Lion. Tell me the name of this animal. Rhinoceros. Tell me the name of this animal. Camel. I read some words to you earlier. Tell me as many of those words as you can remember. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. You nailed all the words. I knew I would. Dr. Thea Gallagher is a clinical psychologist at the University of Pennsylvania. This is a test that, um, if, that if you do not have cognitive dysfunction, this is a test that you should pass um, unless you have some form of mild to moderate cognitive dysfunction. The president has challenged his rival Joe Biden to take the same cognitive test. Biden says he will prove his mental acuity on the debate stage. What was your assessment? What did you think of the test? Was it difficult? Was it easy? I thought it was really easy. The president was the one who asked his doctors to give him the cognitive test to prove his mental acuity to the news media.